Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream here on twitch.tv slash Yasuma, and we got some bananas in chat from Musa42, Ollie95, JG424, I'm Woven Wainbo, The Wowie, De Caspas, Tree, Rocky Avalon, Alessanders, Brantafors, Tutstui Tut, <laughs> I Love Cats, Sweaters, JPEG, Sefri54403, thank you everyone for the bananas, and again to GK and Bob Shrunkle, <laughs> and Fabamiso, and Unsiviliaxis2400. Thanks for all the bananas, peeps, appreciate it. And Joe Games161, thank you for the bananas, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, this is our five year on YouTube anniversary stream right here. And I said this morning that I'd do another stream in the evening to celebrate. And I've had one of those days where I've been doing nothing but jobs, jobs, jobs in between recording a video. And then Minecon came round and I'm like, I've got to record this. I've got to like, you know, record the action. Then I wanted to make a video. I think I've been an absolute busy bee today. It's been crazy. And now we're going to do some more streaming. Oh my days, what did I get myself into? <laughs> now I love it, I love it really, but I am worried my voice is destroyed. The objective of today's stream is to talk about Minecon 2016 and the announcement. I put up a video over on my channel about all the new things. Uh, Bugman says, I checked your void map and one of, the, one of your fans lives in my building. Wow, what is it down to the building? That's amazing. I also just realised, Dirtmaster says Asuma, are you excited for llamas? I am. That would have been a very strange question if you asked me that this morning. But it makes total sense now. Right, we've got to chuck some things. You, you guys are going to see some spoilers in this episode. I'm telling you now, I don't think I can avoid it. I could have built a giant spoiler wall, but it, yeah, it just, it'd have been pointless. So, uh, can you keep a secret? That is the quiff, uh, the, the quiff, the question. And uh, speaking of noises in my ear, I was about to read one and two more just popped up. So, uh, oh, are they not making noises in my ear? No. No, it must... Oh, bam, there it is. I was going to say, can't can't go about me noises. Uh, Zapdos26 has resubscribed for 10 months in a row. Thank you so much, my friend. I do appreciate it. And also, Lee Ort is here throwing some bits at me, doing some cheering, saying happy five years. Thank you, my friend. appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the stream. And Platinum Doodles has resubscribed seven months in a row saying, Loved seeing you on the Hermitcraft panel. Too funny. Love watching you, bud. Keep up the terrific work. And also, Bill Cooper Hicks for five months in a row. Thank you for the resubscribes. And yes, I was on the uh, the Hermitcraft panel. That was Tango's idea. Man, I felt really, really odd about doing that. And I'm glad that I did it because people seem to really enjoy it. Um, I got lots of tweets. There was a big cheer, but I couldn't hear anything. I was like, what's going on? Then I hear this big cheer, and I'm like, oh dear, that must be me. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. I've had a, I've had a terrific couple of days, uh, it feels like. G good weekend is what it's been, and now a very busy... What am I doing? Focus time. There we go. <laughs> and now a busy few weeks ahead of me. Uh, we're taking the tools for making paths, which means that I'm going to forget something that's useful and come back here again. We know that already. Oh, that's the Melon D farm. Dreadlord says, Hi X, I just started watching what's going on. Well, first of all, we're celebrating the five year anniversary of being on YouTube and doing this silly little game called Minecraft. And I'm trying to collect some materials for a path and I can't, I, I'm, I'm just gonna have to face it. I will walk there and walk back again. So we'll do our best. Um, I've got a donation here from Ponybutt saying, who cares about 1.11 updates? When Hermitcraft has a modded series starting soon, so glad that it got announced at the panel. I am I'm a little bit um and ah about the timing there because I really wanted to jump into modded and now this update for Minecraft comes along and I'm thinking I'm going to be torn. I really want to dive in and play um, a lot of the 1.11 stuff. So it's, it's going to be an interesting, an interesting few days for sure. Uh, ahead of a few days. like It's going to be an interesting few weeks with the release of 1.11 and a mod pack. Pony as always, thank you for the donation, appreciate the support and let's get path making, yeah? Let's get path making here, that's what we're doing. If you haven't figured out what we're doing, we're making paths. Uh, I didn't really announce it, did I? So that will come out to about there-ish. 
This this needs to be wide. I feel like this needs to be a big old path, you know, a big wide one. Um, but also, I do want to not just have grass in the ground. So we'll focus on the grass stem. Interesting word that will be at the front. Uh, this this would then have some slabs. Then there would be grass in these spots, and then we'd have slabs again. So yeah, anyway, I've got some things that I need to read. Let's have a look at chat. And uh, oh, there are lots of why why am I seeing nightbot messages? Did I not load my chat correct? Oh, oh man, give me a second, peeps. I forgot to load my chat. I know what I did wrong. Click on that. You see, I got chat filters and stuff like that, and they are extremely useful. And I should make sure they're loaded properly. Excellent, right? Because then when I look at chat, I don't see nightbot. Do you want me to answer some nightbot's messages? Is that what you want? I don't think so. Anyway, we got. New subscribers here on the channel. We have Justin2200 Live has subscribed. 10 Astawart. No, wait, let me say that again. 10A Stewart. <laughs> Astawart. Astawart, hello. Welcome to the channel. Uh, also, Mr. Joe Man, 1200 has subscribed. And Sammy Nugget YT. And also, uh, 116 Roots has subscribed. Five new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, everyone. Appreciate it. Also, a resubscribe for four months in a row from Cosmic Space. Lingos saying, Hi, what's up, X? Happy five years. I was about to leave for a run. Then you say your stream. Remember, it's dingoes, not lingos. Cosmic spaced dingoes. Why did I... Did I say lingos or dingoes? Who knows? Uh, appreciate all the support, everyone. Oh, jeez. Hi. Wow, that guy hit me. Um, yeah, I was, I was... As soon as you said run, I was like, No, go for your run. I... Uh, I'm going to, because I'm doing this stream, I'm going to basically be going to bed a little later than usual. I'm wondering if I should stick to a run tomorrow morning myself. Uh, I, I am one, I am one for punishment. <laughs> I am like, you will do this, you will do this run, no matter what. Uh, but actually, I feel like maybe I should probably give myself a break tomorrow, as I've been pretty worn out of all the running I've been doing uh, lately. Got to keep in shape, got to keep healthy, you know. Um, I was going to wrap, I was going to wrap this path right up against this here. Um, but actually, I think what I should do is leave a little bit of space, you know, and then put some more stone down there. So we'll, we'll do it like that for now. Let's go grab some more materials for our path building over here. Uh, not a comment bot says boring voice. There'll be no boring voice. I want to talk in this voice today, you know. I don't, that's, this is the voice of how I feel. That's the best voice, in my opinion. Anyway, we might need a little bit more of that. Um, dirt, always good. Probably going to need some bone meal for some grass around the edges. Aha, we're getting thinking now. We're getting our noggin working. Okay, uh, a little bit of that and a little bit of this, but we need a lot more than what's on display there. Maybe we can make do with that. And obviously some stone. We'll make what we got work. We can break the stone into cobblestone. And, uh, <laughs> why, ZY Tevelin says, I was going to rap as soon as 2016. When did, I, did I say that just now? I mean, I, I don't remember saying that just now. Rapping was something that I always wanted to give a try at some point. Um, but as I get older, I think I'm probably not going to be very good at it. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's like, it's like, when, when it, whenever you're, like, listening to rap, you're listening to people do it really good. And then you sort of mimic what they would do in your head, like if you're thinking of rhymes and words. And I think actually doing that is a completely different ball game. Um, oh my god, I need to catch up with all of these noises in my ear. We've got another new subscriber. It's Minion Josh. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Also, Panox ACV has resubscribed for 12 months in a row. That's one year. Thank you for the epic support, buddy. Also, Prazzle one has resubscribed for six months in a year, half a year, saying congratulations on five years. Keep it up. Appreciate it, everyone. Uh, we've got a donation here from Rocky Avalon saying, I've always wished they would add a game rule that allowed for Shulker respawning, but it might be a bit OP. And uh, now I just hope with the new cartography feature, it allows for more map functionality, more of a redstone inventory update than exploration. Rocky, you have, uh, you have cracked open a can of worms there. Uh, as always, buddy, appreciate the donation. I was just thinking about what you said. Do you know what I forgot? I forgot oak slabs. Thinking about what you said. Right now, 
exploring the end and killing shulkers is going to be a very valuable currency because those chests are going to be in high demand. I was already picturing myself making 10 of them, renaming them, because in a recent snapshot they allowed you to rename a chest, put it on the ground and pick it back up again, right? And I realised that's in preparation for the shulker thing because you're going to be able to rename your shulker chest. So I'm going to have one for redstone, I'm going to have one for this and that, building supplies, and I'm going to bring them with me wherever I go now, right? Why would you not? They're backpacks. Uh, they're extremely useful, so... Yeah, that's that's a big deal. And now, now shulkers, especially on a server populated by lots of people, they're going to be in high demand and the end is going to get explored a lot. I am looking for oak slabs and doing a terrible job at finding them, but that's it's a good thing that I've remembered. We Guys, we're getting so many uh, messages coming through right now and uh, I'm struggling to, to read anything it feels like. Appreciate it, everyone. I appreciate all of your well wishes. It's really nice to see them, you know. Five years, just... We're here. Like, it's it's crazy to think, isn't it? But we're here. And, uh, yeah, we got a resubscribe for two months in a row from Swiss Piplop saying, You've been on YouTube for five years. That is absolutely amazing, X. I can't imagine uh, you'll double that unless you're really adamant. But I'll stand by forever year you do. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Um, what I think would be weird is if it was still going in five years' time... I like just thinking about it now. I'd be, I'd be thinking like it. Maybe it'd be time to move on. Like, can you really do this for that long? Um, but it just depends on what's happening. You know, you might transition. You might find another little niche. I've already been talking to a friend about uh, starting another YouTube channel, uh, doing something completely different from you know gaming and all that sort of stuff. So you never know, really. Um, as a sumo void, I guess it wouldn't be, but. Um, I don't know, I just think go with it, you know, go with the flow, because I still love doing this, right? And if ever I don't enjoy it, then I'd stop. So, if I still love it in, in another five years, then what, like, what's the problem? You Do what you enjoy, you know? That That's the way it should be. This was initially signifying a path in that direction, which is now slightly more over there. So we will um, do just that and fill these in with hardened clay. Bam! And just looking over chat, tons of well wishes again. Appreciate it, everyone. Uh, let's try and catch up with these me messages. Rocky Avalon again saying, oh, and happy five years. Appreciate it, Rocky. Uh, donation here from Fulks saying, I almost thought you were never going to get streaming tonight. Still glad to be here. Uh, Fulks, I was I was um, watching the Minecon panel and I was like, I've got to like record this and, and make a video on it. This is so cool. I, I, it's really weird how... I don't know, this, no, it's not really weird. This happens all the time. Like, you, you don't, like, anticipate things sometimes. I love this game. I love doing, like, the update videos, and I was really excited for the announcement. And for some reason, I didn't think to, like, sit down and record it, or, like, uh, anything like that. And then halfway through it, I started recording it and realising that, um, like, what they were announcing was pretty amazing. So, yeah, it was a bit weird, and then it threw me off, you know. I was supposed to do this live stream, should I make a video or do a live stream? I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to knuckle down and do both. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed making the video, I enjoyed en enjoying this so far. So, I think I made the right decision, wouldn't you guys agree? Um, so, folks, thank you. We got a donation here from Dear Shemi saying, Happy birthday to Asuma's YouTube channel. Awesome. I'll try watching whilst on the bus. On the bus. Amazing. A little bit of transport watching going on here. Uh, appreciate it, dear Jeremy. Thank you so much. Also, Jeffy Jeff MC has subscribed to the channel. Appreciate the support, buddy. With all these new subscribers, we might be unlocking a new emote very soon. I'll have to check up on that. Every time I say that, I don't do it while I'm streaming. So, <laughs> next time I stream, I would have forgotten about it. I'm going to put a few of these scattered about down here. I feel like that's appropriate. Also, this path over here, um, I don't think it was... Oh, no, it was actually path blocks. Well, there you go. It was path blocks. Uh, Brand Force is here with a donation saying, Congratulations on five years. Keep up the good work. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate your support. And uh, another donation here from Mr. Ten saying, Five pounds for five amazing years. Thank you so much for the support, guys. It is going crazy right here. Um, I cannot say thank you enough. It's, it's humbling to, to see how much you guys have uh, enjoyed what I do here on the tubes. On the tubes and the twitches. 
Can't forget the twitches now. Um, that is that is nice. That is nice. But oh, weren't we going to put slabs there? Yeah, we were. We were going to put slabs there. Aha! Let's put slabs there and also there. And then yeah, that's looking pretty good actually. I like that. Very nice. This bit here has got to change. We'll put some dirt under there. And I can barely keep up with. Uh, <laughs> With, with all of this. Mr. Pickle 25 says, I hate ads every time I refresh. I would love to disable them, I really would. Um, unfortunately, Twitch doesn't give you that option, which is a bit sucky, if you ask me. Okay, this stuff around the edge here, give it more coarse cool dirt, stuff like that. Oh, we've got this to do as well. A little, little bit of archway going on that we've got to sort out. And uh, yeah, this path's going to stretch down there. So much to do. And I've got to read these messages. So we've got a donation here from Leon Opoulos saying, uh, Hey X, I know you from way back in the day. I was subscribed when you only did tutorials. Back then you went to my channel and wrote on my wall, Thanks for the sub. Nice Rubik's Cube videos. Maybe you still remember. Uh, honestly, I sort of don't sort of do. But back then, when you're first starting, like anyone who subscribes, you will you'll immediately be interested. You'll be like, who is this person who is interested in what I'm doing? Um, and then you like, you fly over there and check out what they're up to. But the Rubik's Cube bit does actually ring a bell. And they're not Minecraft Rubik's Cubes, are they? They were just... I, you know, someone subscribed to me and they were doing Rubik's Cube stuff. But that is some serious old school. Like, that is some, like, day one stuff right there. Thank you for sticking around all these years, my friend. It's also uh, part one of part two. Second half of the message is... I was also one of your first donations. You hung up a sign with my name in Atlantis, that underwater desert animal farm from your first single player series. My last name was Schmitten. I remember this. And you had quite some problems. So I want to see you try again. I wonder if we could go find that. You know, earlier... Right. Earlier, I, I do so many things like in a bit of a scram. And earlier I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I had like something special prepared? I really, really hope I can load up my old single player world. If I can quickly do this, we can jump in and have a look. If I can't, I believe I might be able to sort of perhaps make it work. Because I know how to get old maps to work. I did it the other day. Um, and actually, my computer is set up to do this. So, right. I don't want to take too long. Man, I'm nattering on. Backups. Single player world. Do I have it? Old worlds? Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there might be some hidden hidden gems. Apparently I've got a CTM map I was making. A Oh yeah, the quick kit. Slime XP farm. The most extreme too. Oh yeah, these games that I used to make. Oh man. Um, LP, that is the one. 1 1.2, assume as world 06. That'll be the very last backup I made in my world. I'm going to copy this into Hermitcraft and I doubt it's going to load. Okay, so bear with me. We might be doing something special here. And I am falling so far behind on messages. Uh, Swiss Piplup says, a trip down memory lane. Yeah, it's going to be that, basically. A trip down memory lane for sure. Um, let's just fill in all this space. So if ever Biffa wanders over, it looks a little bit more reasonable. It's quite obvious what's going on here, but it definitely needs like more detail. We're going to put in path blocks. We're going to have grass on the edge. I think that's a good point, actually. Like a nice wide grass spread and then path blocks in the middle. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if it will load the world. It might not appear. It will be at the very bottom. It's there. Can we go into it? 1.2. Yes, it would, because it would be the new... Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, let's do this then. This is something special for the stream. How cool is this? Oh man, I'm so excited now. I did not think I'd be going into my old world. <gasps> oh, this is so nostalgic. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic right now. I'm sorry. Oh, this is like going so far back. I love this game. I love this game so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this game. Um, <laughs> it is... There is something so brilliant about just this environment that you create and then you get to share it with people and now that I've seen this oh, I, it's bringing back memories man memories <laughs> and we're in Atlantis we're gonna go see the sign absolutely perfect I wanna know I wanna know is there a secret yeah there is this is gonna go to the sheep farm yep oh look at this look at this sheep farm man this is some old school 
Oh, didn't I get further along with this project? I could have swore that was like an oasis down there. Maybe maybe I forgot to make a backup. <laughs> uh, right, I've got to continue reading these messages because I'm falling well far behind. Uh, Leon Opoulos, we're going to go see if we can find the Schmitten sign. We've got a new subscriber with Rocket Gaming 213. Hello, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Uh, Leah Leia is here, resubscribing for 11 months in a row, saying, Wow, so close to a year. I have to go now. SD and Wolf won't be in the stream today, and Ems is going in 10 minutes, just letting you know. I appreciate that, actually. So no moderators in chat. Go ham. False says, Oh, man, it's that's a site I haven't seen in a while. Oh, yeah, False, you've been around for a long time as well. That's, uh... Actually, oh, my God, False. That's incredible. Because I, I knew False before I even started making videos. And I was in one of her videos. <laughs> and that has absolutely blown my mind again. That's crazy. I always forget that. And uh, it always just, like puts a smile on my face. Joel Kip is here. Resubscribing for 11 months in a row. Saying happy anniversary. Appreciate it. We have Alessandus here with a donation. Saying hi X. Adore your work. Hopefully you know my name. Could you recommend me some albums to start heavy metal? Uh, I read some on your blog and listen to Spotify. But don't know where to start. Uh, heavy metal albums listen to... Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz, listen to uh, Judas Priest, British Steel, and listen to The Best of Iron Maiden, their Best of the Beast, it's called. Free albums, give that a go, that's some good heavy metal right there. Um, we got Tennis Stewart here with a donation, saying, uh, Well done X on your five year anniversary, thank you for all the amazing content. Here is £5, go buy some pot noodles. Pot noodles? Oh, I don't eat pot noodles. Dirty, dirty food. I appreciate the gesture, man. I, I have regular, regular noodles is what I'll have, and I'll cook them with some things. Man, this place, this is when they'd only just added new wood into the game. Like, looking in the chest isn't particularly, like, <laughs> interesting. But anyway, let me explain. This place is called Atlantis. It is a separate build from my main base. Here we go. Yeah, donator number two, Thomas Foster. And this, I would have given that thing a name tag, I guess, with his name on if we had them then. Oh, and the boat launcher! It won't work, it won't work, but we've got to try it. Donator number one, Marcus Yerk. Okay, did did um, our friend Schmidt say he was number one, or like one of the first few? I don't know. Right, let's go break some redstone contraptions. Peeps, right now you are seeing the beginning of my channel. Back in the day, I was known for making these machines called animal breeders. Oh, I thought Piggy was taking damage there, he gave me a heart attack. <laughs> You're okay in there, that's good. Um, yeah, I, this is what I was known for, making these machines. They're probably not going to work anymore. Um, so what we do is we press the button on the right, and all of the cows will swap. Oh, they don't even do anything! Wait, no, was that the right one? That was bring out. Oh, I, like, none of it works anymore. Really? Like, it can't even send them out? Ha, huh. I guess they behave differently now that... You know, the game's updated. So what would have happened is all of these would have shuffled around to the next one. And then the ones at the front would come out to the breeding bay. And you would breed them and they would drop down. Like, all of this development happened. All of these different designs and ways that you could do this before we learned to drop them in a hole. <laughs> Which was, like, the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest evolution. We'd been making massive machines and then it was like, oh, we just got to drop them in a hole. Okay, that's how we're doing it then. Um... Yeah, so, are there more signs? This is a lovely little staircase that will lead down to the sheep farm, which we already said earlier. I uh, made a few tutorials on how to do this design. Uh, like, kind of updated it over time. Basically, shear the sheep, uh, the water goes in, and then it pushes them along. It'd be nice to do that in a way where it protects the uh, grass. Maybe there's a block. You see, sheep are one and a half blocks high. Maybe there's a block you can put on top of the grass, which... Stops water flowing, but allows mobs to walk through it. I don't know what that block is. Um, that doesn't sound like a thing, does it? Hi, there might be another sign over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Silent Ninja says, do boring voice assumer for the throwback. Man, it would literally be like that. I would have been like, alright guys, we're in my sheep shearing facility. And over here we have a donator number four. It's Sean Smith. This one's called Milky. And now what we're going to do... That's how I used to talk, man. That's how I used to talk. I can't do it anymore for too long. It drives me mad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, where, where was the enthusiasm, guy? Oh, where was it? 
Right, I need to catch up with these messages. I got all these stories to tell. Uh, right Escape saying, Woo, five years already? Stay awesome. Thank you for the two month resubscribe. Appreciate that. Uh, my greater here of a donation saying, Hey X, happy birthday to your channel and five years of you sharing awesome stuff of it. Discovered any good music lately? I've been listening to a Spotify progressive metal playlist recently. Um, Discovery is a little bit on the slow side. Everything's slowed down with music. Um, however, what I have been discovering, I brought a lot of records a while back um, from a top 500 albums list of all time thing. And I've been listening to stuff like Bob Dylan and all these other like older acts and actually like really appreciating them and uh, enjoying listening to that. So in terms of discovery, I'm actually hearing stuff that I already knew about, but like, you know, getting into it a bit more. Stevie Wonder would be another one of those. And uh, yeah, just really been enjoying uh, listening to a lot of music, but just not a lot of new stuff. Hey, it's Robert Schmidt and we found it. Berta is the name. Do you remember that, my friend? Berta. Wow, of course you do. <laughs> you remembered it. You messaged me about it. Oh, and isn't there a redstone thing you can do here? Yeah. Yeah, and then press it again. All oh, right, it's an old... Look, I've even got buckets. You do that, and it. but it's secret. Oh, man, I need to bring some of these things back. This is so cool. Right, <laughs> I'm so glad we're in this world. We might have to throw up an old geomine world as well. That would be mental. Um, so this thing, I'm sure this must be, like, broken. No? Right, so this is a wheat field and all the water flows over. And it would have destroyed all the crops right there. This water is to adjust the flow so it all comes down to the very front. Oh, man. So much nostalgia. So much nostalgia. Uh, we got a donation. No, sorry, not a donation. A resubscribe from Casfu. 13 months in a row. Casfu, very long time. Uh, supporter of the channel. Kaz Fu probably remembers this. I don't actually know if you've been around for that long, Kaz, but uh, yeah, some old stuff. Right, now let's go over to the main base, because this is just the Atlantis project. And uh, right, we've got another donation here from Rocky Avalon saying it would be nice to revisit some of your old projects, but never reached com completion in this five year stream. But I know you want to get stuff done on Hermitcraft. Rocky, I actually wanted to do something special for this stream. And now that we've found, you know, a folder full of old worlds, I'm thinking, why not do that? Like, why not just have a look around? Um, can we do slash... Oh, yeah, we're in the new... Let's give Asuma uh, hi. Okay, I'm thinking we can't... Ah, aha! There we go. <laughs> cheaty, cheaty. Right, let's go truck this thing in. I want to see if the boat dock works. I don't think it will. Boats have changed so much. But boats used to be a big thing, right? And this is how it used to work. You used to come in here. You'd activate the pressure plates. Drop down there. Right, that worked. Didn't take any damage. But that's probably not a thing anymore. I forget. Then you go through here. Aha, and you don't rise up through the water. Where'd the boat go? Oh, it's, it's there again. Weird. Yes, that used to be the old boat boat dock elevator thing. Uh, Rocky, appreciate the donation. We have another one from James Drew. 27 saying, Memory Lane Stream. Let's go on the old servers and skip Season 4 today. Joke. Do what you want to do. Go ham. Let's go for another five years of great videos and a happy day. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think we're going to skip Hermitcraft, to be fair. I think we've got a pretty good reason to uh, explore some old worlds today. And I will be... Um, yeah, I'll be probably popping back onto Hermitcraft after if there's not a lot to see, you know, because I do want to do a proper stream today. What is that? Oh, is that glass panes? Did we really have them back then? Huh. I guess so. Oh, looking over there reminds me of the time we did a time lapse of exploring. Like I did a little looking at the map and running through a field, little time lapse. It was really cool. People loved it. Is that a giant slime? No, that's sugar cane. <laughs> it's not a giant slime. Cool. So this is my main base. And uh, I'm just looking at a comment here from official Casp saying, Hey Asuma, I love this type of nostalgic video. Uh, I started playing in dev, I think, Minecraft six, seven years ago, I think. And I found out about Redstone, started watching your contraptions. It helped me out a lot. The more and more things came to mind. And I also started watching Mumbo and he had uh, the old stupid intro. Love the vids. Uh, good job 
five years, mate. Fenoman's here! Same Fenoman says the tree! Feno! Happy birthday, my friends! Yeah, Feno's birthday is the day that I started YouTube, so give him a good happy birthday message in chat. And here's a video. This is one of my early videos that picked up traction outside of animal breeding. Um, I made a tree farm, and I decided what I would do is create these water streams. So you would chop down the trees, and then the saplings would drop in the water. And it's not a great... Like, it wasn't a great idea, and when I first did this, I did this before I was watching YouTube videos, and it was a real, like, brainwave idea, but then you go onto YouTube, and later on I realised that YouTube was enormous, loads of people figured this out, uh, but I made a video about it, it got some attention, and, uh, yeah, I remember, oh, what was his name, the guy who made the, the Monday Diamond show, was it? Bebop Vox, and he left a comment saying, this will be in the next you know, like, video, and I was really excited, and then he never put it in there, I was like, oh, oh, um, we got a donation here from Unwoven Rainbow saying, thanks for all the awesome times, Unwoven Rainbow, appreciate the donation, buddy, also Monkey Mode here saying, five buckets of tea for our dear Asuma, cheers, thank you, my friend, AC Dog again with a donation saying, congrats on five years, thank you, everyone, for the uh, lovely messages, appreciate it. Uh, Astrid Lou resubscribed for six months in a row, half a year there, and he resubscribed here from Sinoriax uh, for four months in a row, saying congratulations and thank you so much for five years. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching the videos. So, uh, what do we talk about here? This was my project for this world. It was to create a giant treehouse, and I really struggled. And looking back at this. Like, that's probably the easiest bit, and that took me a long time. The next bit was to create some big branches, and I realised i have bitten off more than I can chew. But I enjoyed doing this so much. Looking at this area right here reminds me of Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington and Stephen Merchant. I listen to, like, all of the podcasts and radio shows that those guys done. I, like, binge listen to them while working on this place. So, as soon as I see it, it's like I can hear their voices. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, Brand Force is here with a donation saying thanks for the nostalgia and tour and the boring voice. No problem at all, buddy. I'm sure I'm probably going to end up doing that again uh, before the end of the stream. There'll be lots of requests for it, I bet ya. Panax ACV says Mojang announced a new feature and Asuma go back to his old world. Amazing. Yeah, but that that's the strength of the game, is it not? Like, we're having fun looking at this place. Oh yeah, little speed potions in the wall. Here's the storage room. This is where I used to grow me mushrooms, just on the ground and... That's right, loads of supplies here. Oh man, that was before coal blocks. And Look at those diamonds! Wow. So we had Silk Touch, yeah. I played in this world around the time that like enchantments got added. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so very, very cool. Loads of people in chat saying, e, I see your messages. Oh, that reminds me, I need to uh, have a sip of my lemon and honey for my poorly voice. Because it is really worn out. <laughs> Oh, that is delicious. Photon Burst Live says, resubscribe for 11 months in a row. Almost a fifth of your age. Close enough. It very nearly is, isn't it? Uh, that is close enough by me, my friend. Thank you for the support. And also, MS Gual 49 is resubscribed for five months in a row, saying, five years of you, five months of love in your streams. Thank you. And M606 resubscribing for seven months in a row, saying, happy five years. Love seeing how your art has changed over the years. Oh, interesting, interesting message, calling it art, because me and Iskow were having a discussion the other day, and we both agree that Minecraft is like art, it's like creating music, it's like creating paintings, within this game you create something. And anyway, over here, again, biting off more than I can chew, I was going to have this super fast waterway going in both directions, started that, never finished it, um, it runs straight into a lava lake, do we have ender pearls? No. Were they even in the game here? Oh, no depth strider. Uh, yes, and then it had a super glitchy thing that not only no longer works, there's no pistons here. Those pistons are gone. Yeah, this thing went straight into a lava lake and then it started burning the woods and that really put me off the project. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to take us to another area. I mean, yeah, I, I've, I've never stopped biting off more than I can chew, have I? I still do this to this day. When you see the next episode, you're going to see another moment where I bite off more than I can chew. <laughs> and uh, this was basically one of the roots of the tree going deep down into the ground. And all of this was going to get dug away. This was before speed mining and beacons, I think, as well. So cool. Right, so up here, 
Um, this is like the base area. We had a little thing built in the nether and I remember all of... What was that? That was like an enderman sticking his head through the side. Ah, uh, no donate a message here. By the way, these are mushroom refill stands. You walk up to them, you drink your stew, and then when it runs out, you right click on the mushroom, and then you put it back in there. Pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, and the roof was made out of ice. So cool! So cool! Uh, we got a donation here from Yellow Harold saying, Hi Asuma, congratulations on the five years. Here's to another five years in your great company. Quick question, do you ever miss the Void Fog? Absolutely not, my friend. Goodbye, Void Fog. See you later. I was so happy when they got rid of that. <laughs> well pointed out. Uh, Mousefan1993 has resubscribed for six months in a row saying, Half a year already. Wow, congrats on five years too. Um, on five years? Yes, yes, of course. What, that confused me for a second. What's going on? Uh, appreciate that, Mouse fan. Also, a donation here from N2 Mining saying, love your streams. Glad you like them, buddy. And also, a donation here from Village... Village ID... No, sorry, let's read that again. <laughs> I always read it like one letter at a time. Village Idiot B says, I joined your channel when you first joined Hermitcraft. Still watching. Lots of good hours of fun. I hope for the best for your future. Take care. Thank you, my friend. Um, I was thinking, like, yeah, Hermitcraft is, like, four years and more older, so you've pretty much been around from the very beginning, and, uh, well, the beginning days, if you know what I mean. We don't have Elytra here, so that's the thing. There's a chicken farm up on the hill, by the way, if you're wondering what's over there. We're now going to see the last thing there is to see in this world. I think there might be, like, one or two other small bits. I know over there there's a really interesting bit of terrain where I went exploring and there was this like giant sheer cliff face from like a world update. Um, where was I going with all of this? <laughs> I've completely lost track again. Yeah, Hermitcraft will be five years old next uh, next next year. Yeah, in 2017, like early on. April 2017, it will be five years old. There we go. Uh, we've got Anna Miles here, resubscribing for ten months in a row, saying congrats on the five years. Up to the next five. <laughs> I think I might be. And uh, Eagle Fam is here with a donation saying, Happy birthday. Loved seeing you at Minecon. I'm glad you liked that. That was all Tango, I'm telling you right now. Um, I'm really glad that he did that. I was a little unsure myself, and it turned out to be really great. So where we're going now is to what I believe might have been one of the first things I did in this world. And if I know my way around, I will remember the caves somewhat. Somewhat. I've got a feeling this really shouldn't be flowing down here. And we have another donation noise in the air from Falk saying, Please accept this. Totally not a bribe. In return, you must, if you want, call Unwoven Rainbow. Unwoven Rainbow from now on. Uh, thank you kindly. <laughs> Falks, I like it. I will call her Unwoven Rainbow. How about that? That sounds cool and fun. If Rainbow's will call, call with it, of course. If you're not Rainbow, just say. And I'm already saying Rainbow. <laughs> It's, I'm sold. Uh, apparently I might not know these caves. I've also, I think I've come down further than I was supposed to. Actually, no, maybe this is it. There's going to be, oh, I feel like I almost know all of this. <laughs> it feels so familiar walking through these little bits. Have I gone too far? Are we about to find, oh, we're finding bits of it. Yes. Yes, we're here. We're somewhere near. Oh, I know where we are. Right. My goodness me, this is cool. We've come round to the wrong bit, though. Oh, this is exciting. I know what this is. This is the back of the farm right here. This, I dug out all of this. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm really, really excited to show you all this farm. This is cool. Up there is where we want to go. It's where those bookshelves are. Uh-huh. Yes, this is the place. What's in there? A dispenser with a pick. Oh, yeah, that was for enchanting. <laughs> cool. All right then. So this is this is a project I'm really pleased with. This is our uh, something just died. Our spider farm. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness me! How do I get into this thing through here? <laughs> oh, and I'm missing out on all the messages and I'm missing out on chat. I hope you guys are enjoying this because uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with everything right now. Okay, so this is the entrance to the spider farm. I love the layout here. The blue, white, and orange look so good together. They are my favourite colours. And this probably doesn't work anymore, but another thing that I did back in the day was make tutorials about how to make cave spider spawner farms. Because you would find these clustered together, they actually became a really good option. So then when I had my own Let's Play world, we made this farm. And I want to see if it still works. I bet you it doesn't. Or maybe it does. I don't know. We'll find out. 
Well, they ain't grouping together. Mmm, mm, that is some good honey and lemon. They ain't grouping together, are they? Anyway, they would group up together and then you could crush them with this thing and then you could hit them. There'd be one punch kill and that's why there's a little enchanting area. Uh, this isn't so glamorous to look at now, but if you remember how crazy this stuff was to build. Like, look at this. Look at all this crazy, janky redstone going all over the place and special spider tunnels right here and funneling systems. Oh, it was such good fun. And all this cobblestone stuff right here. Oh yeah, this is me explaining how the... Uh, <laughs> How the redstone works, you have your input, you've got your anti-spam and it does multiple things and oh it's really cool doing all of that. Over here, oh yes, look at this, it's working! We've got a slime XP farm as well, check it out, little slimes coming through. Oh man, and then you can punch them and get all that XP, this is so cool. Busy says they can get past the iron bar now, yes, although they're not doing it at the moment. Nightfan says, old world of yours X, yep this one is four and a half years old probably. And, right, the other place we want to go look is where this comes from, which is somewhere back here. In fact, I think it's sort of below us. It is. Yes, it is. We use Skylight, I remember. Yeah, somewhere down here there's going to be an entrance to... Do you know what? I am I'm just going to fall down and break things for the sake of convenience. Hi, we are in the middle of a farm. The reason that that is there is because of Void Fog. Someone earlier mentioned uh, about the Void Fog being gone. This is so cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, so this is my like branch mine slash slime farm area. So we've got a slime farm. All the slimes get caught. This is a, a five chunk slime farm as well. And they get caught and sent into this thing. And the smaller ones will get sent up to the top. It's cool to know this stuff still works actually. Like get in. Yes, get in the water. Oh, but they can jump out of water now, or swim against the current, can't they? So it might not be as effective. Uh, but this guy should get split into a smaller one at some point. Go on, go through there. Oh, getting set on fire! And then he's going to get split on the end bit. This is a design I came up with when me and Red Eyes were working on this stuff. And then they go through and they climb up the ladder at the back. Hey, watch him go! Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, then over in this direction what we have... What we have over here is a little farm area, so you can come in here and you can pick up things. So on the bottom side you've got various farms for food and resources, and then up the top is where the branch mining starts. So cool! That is pretty much everything to see in this world. Uh, Nikki says, is he visiting old Hermitcraft? This is actually my very first like Let's Play world, pre-Hermitcraft. Nightfan says, what happened to Red Eyes? He got caught up with work and real life and was never able to really find the time for it again, which is really unfortunate. Red Eyes was a pretty talented guy, man. Did really interesting stuff with the game. Right, I'm now going to have a quick scroll through and see if there's any other interesting old worlds we might go look at. So I have uh, a Geomine world, which is pre-YouTube. We have... Oh, what on earth is that? Oh, that's actually... Oh. oh, wow! I just found... Oh, my! <laughs> I don't even know what's in some of these old worlds. I'm looking at the names and I'm like, oh, that might be my very, very first Minecraft world. Do you guys want to check out? Tell me now in chat. You're getting free reign to spam. I'm going to reply to some messages. You're going to put yes or no. If you put no, we're going back on Hermitcraft. If you put yes, I'm going to spend the time to try and restore some super old nostalgic worlds for you. Um, it wouldn't take long to do as well, so don't let that disgruntle you. Right, spam away. Micromundo has resubscribed for seven months in a row. Thank you so much for the resubscribe. We also have a cheer here. Some bits from J Martin i66. Thank you for the bits, appreciate it. And thank you for the spam in chat. Let's stop because I have never seen such a landslide of yeses. I have counted about one no, lit two no's and an absolute onslaught of yeses, so I think I know what we're doing. It's 99.999% to, um, yeah. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Alright, and we got a donation here from Arifina saying congrats on your five years. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, a donation here from Sweaters JPEG saying, can I have sign in this world? I'm a noob too. 
your channel. I've only been here for less than a year, but I love your community so much. I really appreciate you and your awesomeness. Thank you so much for the lovely message, Sweaters. Um, I could put a sign in this world, but <laughs> it's getting the delete because I've copied it. And I should probably... Oh, even if, I, even if I've not copied it by mistake, I've got another backup. So, Asuma's world will be lost for forever. And now I'm going to spend the time to uh, get us into a very old world. So here's what I'm going to do. Games, the screen's going to go blank. I'm going to load Minecraft back up again. Don't you worry. Stop the panicking in chat. I can hear you all typing typing away. Panic time. Um, did I delete it? No, it was that one there. That I just, Yes, that is the profile. Excellent. Okay, so now what I do is select a particular update, which I've done. Excellent. And now I've just got to copy this world to it. I am going to copy quite a few of these worlds because I have... No idea what's in this stuff. Oh, this this could be insane. This could be like some really cool, weird... It's probably going to be rubbish. I bet you it's just going to be wacky old worlds. Okay, there's the panic in chat. I see it. Thanks for the spam, peeps. Folks, you need to keep your throat lubricated. Have some tea. <laughs> lubricated. Brilliant. Um, I, got a, I got honey and lemon for that. Let's uh, pick that up. Okay, and now, I don't know if this will capture Minecraft. Let's try. Uh, click that again. No, no, it won't. So now I've got to add a new one. Will it capture it? That is the question. I believe it will. Aha, look at that. Now we've got to make it fit to screen. Oh, it didn't want to do that. That means I've got to do it manually then. Okay, this will take a moment. We're not going to fuss too much about having it perfect. That looks, yeah, it's a little bit cropped at the top and the bottom. Um, that is good. Cool. Now what I've got to do is move to the bottom. Bam. There we go. There we go. Amazing. All right. Can we see the worlds? We can. I have no idea what is in these worlds. Um, oh, wait. No, no. World 1. C4, okay, right. This is... Oh, look at that. Oh, this is... Oh, my! Lever armor! Oh, we're in the world! We do have it! I didn't even know if we still had this world. Oh, my goodness me. I spent so long making it. Guys, you are looking at a pre-YouTube world. This is Minecraft beta. This is pre-1.0 released in... 2012 or was it the end of 2011 actually I think it was 2011 it was released uh, we can't sprint and there isn't too much to see luckily and the world is probably all janky or maybe it isn't maybe this is actually how it used to look no like biome transition oh my god I love this world this world's so stupid oh I spent so much time here and it, it looks let's face it this what you're gonna see Oh my god! It's like very first Minecraft world. Oh, those sounds! Wow! This is pre-YouTube. This is pre-even knowing what I'm doing with the game. This is like, after I learned how to survive a little bit, I came to, to this place. Oh, I don't even know where this goes. Apparently not too far. Oh, it goes down into caves. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is so cool. The old gravel texture! I see you old raven about it. So, this is legit. I built a pyramid out of sand, and then I made an area where there wasn't grass. <laughs> I don't know why I did these things. This had a cactus farm in it, that's right. Uh, not automated. This, I believe, was an attempt at making a mob grinder? Or something. Yeah, this is a, this is a mob farm thing right here. Yeah, and I had no idea what I was doing when I was making this stuff. Um, so, if we go over here... Now this is this is all a little bit fuzzy to me. I must have been playing this world when I was on Geomine because this is a very old school passive mob farm. Passive mobs would spawn a lot more frequently and all you had to do is have an area like this and they'd fall into the water stream and they would all get collected to a single point. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this old school building! No one builds like this anymore! What are you doing? Sword waggle! Do we even have F5? Oh, look at me! F1 as well. Look at me, little old school Minecrafter. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, there was all this like river and stuff around here that I terraformed to to ride my boat through. 
And there's a little room up there. I want to check that out. Oh, this is so cool. Right, so in here are little wall rooms where I keep my wall. <laughs> and I, I would walk all the way over here to put it in this little place, man. Oh, so good. And I don't even know what this is. Just uh, another tunnel. I think there's a network of tunnels to get around. So, right, here's, here's what's funny. When I remember this, and I had this experience of loading up the world like a long time ago, but I remembered this thing being really impressive. It was like this ginormous structure that tore itself out of the, uh, the water and had all these pillars. And now I look at it and it is just an ugly box. <laughs> Like, the, the imagination is a powerful thing in this game. So, if we go inside, we've got weird chests, man. Labelled up the chests, fuel, cooked, raw. This, like, this isn't fun anymore. But back then, like, organising items in a chest was fun. And I don't know why, it just was. So, this space is just slow to move around. But I really loved having all of these resources and, it's like... You know, putting them down in chests and stuff. Uh, I believe there might be a sugarcane farm down here. Yep, check this out. Sugarcane farm. <laughs> and then there's some more stuff up above. I, I really thought this stuff was like cutting edge base design. Little uh, wheat farm in between all the pillars. Oh my god, it's, like, it's almost embarrassing in a weird way. Oh, I love it, it's just silly. And then up top you saw there was some lava. I don't even know what I was thinking when I was messing around with that lava. It's a bit janky really, isn't it? Boom, and then up here. And right, there isn't too much more to see. There's some stuff over here that was unfinished. But I wanted to check out that over there as well. I think this is pre-commands. So there's not even a text window. Wow. You have maps, says Pulamunan. I do! Look at that little map of our area! Sweet. Splush! Hello Piggy, it's Reuben! He's travelled back in time to this world. Oh, this is uh, this is so cool. <laughs> I really do love it. Uh, we got a donation here from Butterboy451 saying congrats on five years. I've been watching you ever since Hermitcraft Series 3. Keep up the good work. Thanks for sticking around all this time, buddy. I appreciate it. Sprint by tapping, double tapping. Oh! Ah! <laughs> There's mobs! And I'm not well armed to fight them. Oh, goodness me. This is some old school terror right here. Where the mobs are really difficult to fight. He's not shooting at me. I really want to get up there and just like bust in and see what this was about. Because I forgot. Oh, that's right. It's a secret entrance down here. Oh, this is worth it then. See you later, Skellington. Yeah. Okay, so this is my little secret entrance. Down below... There is... I don't think I ever got around to building that bit. It used to take ages to dig all this stuff out. Yep, storage room over here. Secret stuff. Oh, look at those diamonds! <laughs> Lots of iron, though. I used to love going caving. And then there's a room up above. Pull a man and says, Oh my god, I was noticed! That's what happens. That's what happens on Twitch. You know? That's what it's for. Um, some of this stuff... This is for picking up water, I believe. Some of this stuff is just... <laughs> What was I thinking? I don't know. Little things everywhere. Old school Minecraft playing. Love it. Gotta love it. It's so cool. Right, so that was one world. So I think we're done with that one for now. I think we are done for for now. Um, <laughs> Juicy Red Eye says hi from the Minecon merch line. Hello, Juicy. At Minecon. That's cool. Oh, wow. Alright, so... Right, we've been in there. What is, what is world two? Old one. Is it the same one? Oh my. Okay. This is... What is this world? I, I recognise it. This is even older. Is this the first world I played on? Oh my... I remember this. I decided to light my corridor by putting glass and torches above it. This is so weird. This is when, like, this was acceptable. This looked cool. I don't know why. Is this actually the first world I played on? No, it's not. No, I remember this one now. <laughs> I remember griefing my own world. Somewhere over that hill. Oh, yes, I built that up there. Somewhere over this hill, there is an interesting site. There it is. There's a little bit of it right there. We're going to go over there and look. I can't believe this. I forgot about this world. 
this is this is pre Geo Mine world. We haven't even been to Geo Mine. Yeah, so I built two towers and they connect to one another. Oh my goodness me. The interesting sight is all of these trees right here. There was a forest fire that just spread for ages. And when I first discovered this area, it was just like all these bits of wood floating everywhere. It looked really cool. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we got a new subscriber. Frain83 has subscribed to the channel. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, thank you for the subscription. We are now up to 10 today. Can you believe it? Amazing. Oh, this is so cool. And I'm double tapping W. Thank you for the message. Uh, X could be X. Appreciate that. I forgot the old double tap. Justin2200 live says watching on Xbox and I can't see chat that well. But hi, lol. Congrats on five years. I'll sip my water and, and toast to five more. Thank you, my friend. Enjoy your water. Okay, so I'm fairly sure there's nothing to see over there. Somewhere around here there is a tunnel. Um, and then there's this. And I've got this weird feeling that there's something interesting down here. Or at least, I think something interesting happened when I was making this. But whatever that was, I don't know. And this is from, I don't know, like the days where digging stone underground was absolutely amazing. And having a staircase built out of cobbles, the best thing that you could do. Like, so many people played like this. If you go watch Minecraft videos from five years ago... Oh, the Void Fog! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is uh, quite a big branch mine. Ah, and then it encounters lava. I think I know why this... I Yeah, I know why this is interesting to me. Because this was the first time that I um, encountered the slimes. I dug all the way down here, and of course they spawned down here, and I didn't know about them. And I was digging in this direction, and all of a sudden these slimes started spawning, so I dug it out more and more, and there were loads of them in there. It was really fascinating. Very cool. Right, so that was the second old world. What is cold world? I don't know. Uh, cold world? No idea. This this is ringing no bells. Zero bells are being rung. Apparently I had diamond tools. <laughs> um, oh, goodness me. No idea whatsoever what this is. Did biome transitions really be this rigid? They must have been, I guess. Oh, I see a structure. This is pre-villagers, so it's something I built. Maybe it will jog my memory. Uh, Chobox says I only have 50 subs, and I've been going for a, for a whole year. What should I do? Um, just keep doing what you enjoy, man, and try and do it better, if that's fun to you. But don't worry about the numbers, like, you know... Have fun first. Worry about numbers later. Okay. My memory is not being jogged at all. This is clearly something that I built. This... What is this? Ah, oh, this is a map. This is a map. This isn't something I made. That explains a lot. There's a few other maps in the folder as well. So, I noticed that. Right. This is someone's old adventure. Welcome to Cold World. Please proceed to the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> Uh, first of all the rules, please follow them to play the game correctly. First of all, please play the game without any custom mods or custom texture packs. Please set the difficulty peaceful. If you play with mobs on, you will suffer. Uh, the only block you can destroy or place is wall. You can do this anywhere in the game, <laughs> regardless of state otherwise. Apparently I went out and started chopping down trees. Um, we're not going to play this, but it's, it's fascinating to see such an old map. It's about solving puzzles. Okay, right. Well, we could, oh, maybe I maybe I completed it because there's all wall here. Oh, I actually remember this. Do you go around the back to place it? No. Okay. Maybe I don't remember this. Hmm. Interesting. I. It's not jogging my memory a lot, which is really strange. And then there's signs there with no text, and this is supposed to be a puzzle. Maybe I made this world. <laughs> Because it ends it. Maybe this is my own puzzle world I was working on. Jeez. Oh my goodness me. I think this might have been my own puzzle world and I've completely forgotten about it. Wow. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I am having a blast. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying this. This is so weird to open these worlds. Weather world. Let's find out what this one's about. Hi. I did some digging down here. It doesn't ring a bell. There's something to the side here. Go somewhere. I feel like I should have looked outside. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> there is stuff. This is so weird. Like, I have no memory of that last one. Is this... What is that? <laughs> For a second there, this sort of reminded me a bit of my very, very first world, which I, I'm really sure I didn't have, but if I've ever seen a world that looks similar to what I saw, it would be this... Oh, this is starting to come back to me a little bit. Wow. I remember building this fort. I think this sank on the top of it. Goodness me, get away from the mobs. <gasps> mobs are really dangerous in these games, in the old game. They're just so tough to fight. Right, let's head up to that area up top. I'm getting a bit of a like a flashback going on here. And I want to find out... Oh, it's a cow. <laughs> it's a cow. Hello, cow. How are you doing? Oh, my. This is so vague. And like... Yeah. Yeah, I remember this. I was going to build all sorts of stuff up here. Right, there'll be a little storage room here, right? Oh, my goodness me. I don't even know. I think this is like a collection of worlds where I was trying to get started. And that first one that we looked at is where I really settled down. Man. Old school worlds. Didn't know I had them. Tuxedo Cat says X. So many people have been enjoying that you've passed the Minecon MC tournament in viewers. So, what? We, we're passing Minecon on viewers. That's crazy. Uh, Force is still watching saying it's a cow village. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's literally a cow village on a hill. Oh man. This is this is really weird to look at. Okay, right. Well, I've got more welds stashed away here. We're going to keep looking at them. So pistons. I loved pistons when they got added. Oh my goodness me. This world. Oh, this is like a creative world where I just did st Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, this is one of my first test worlds. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness me. And I did this all in survival. No creative mode. Just played around here. I think day and night happens in this world. Creating contraptions. This is some really primitive redstone right here. Aha! Yeah, that can... This is just not impressive anymore. But back then it was amazing. I cannot believe this. That I have this world... This has put such a huge smile on my face, peeps. <laughs> I don't even know what half this stuff does. Where's where's the switch for this one? Oh, so cool. I keep pressing control to sprint. Secret passageway. Kinda looks like yeah, there's loads of pistons in a row. If this is a test world, I think i I think I had a mod to give me items because that is a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is me messing around with wiring. How can you activate a whole group of those at once? Uh, what's going on here? Is this a bit of a... Oh, secret staircase time! <laughs> this is... Right. How do I get in? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, it's all the way down here. There's an entrance. Okay, so this is when pistons were first added to the game. So you got your little... How do you get across the lava? Like that. Then here you have uh, that door. is making all sorts of doors. Is that? That's two, two. Ah, one at the bottom, one at the top. Yeah, basic stuff now. And then that I was so proud of. And it opens, it opens up the roof as well. Look. Aha. Closed. Open. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. Right, I want to go back this way and see a little bit more. Liam Rock says, I don't even know what half this stuff does. X has forget. This is a five-year-old world. Like, this is... This is pre-YouTube. This is older than five years ago. I don't even know what half the stuff I was trying to do here. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, it doesn't even work. This might have worked in beta. Or do you hold down space? I think you hold down space. And the idea is you shimmy your way up. So cool. And then playing with minecarts a bit. No, that did something over there. This is just me messing around with anything I can get my hands on. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure there's not much else to see in the world, peeps. Oh, that was so cool. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to delete all of those worlds where I've uh, saved them. And we're going to transfer over some more. Because I have kept backups. This is why you back things up, peeps. Okay, so that was in Sync called Classic. 
Ah, uh, that's why I've never found it before. These are actually from beta 1.7.3. So I'm going to copy uh, some other worlds. And we're going to see what they're about. Okay. So I've got another batch. And I'm just going to step back and have a little look what else there is. There's going to be some real interesting stuff. Uh, as well as that, we've seen my LP. We've got Geomind to check out. And then the rest of these... There's a lot there. I don't think I'm going to go through those. Some of those look interesting, though. Okay, and then Geomine. Do I have the save? I don't think I've got the save of Geomine. No. No, I don't. Damn. It's somewhere in there. We're not going to focus on that. We're going to get back to the game. Right, back to the normal thing. Let's get all the setup installed correctly. Uh, I've been missing things, by the way. Oh, my, oh, my, have I been missing things. Um... Yeah, let's do right. So, Super Hostile, we'll come back to that in a second. Indiana, what is this? Aha, this is just uh, someone else's map that I downloaded. This ain't me. I did not build this, believe me. These are the old days of old school Minecraft adventure maps. I barely remember playing this one, but boy, oh boy. Uh, someone here, whoever built this is actually like... Th there's a clear sign of talent. Like, they are building within the confines of an ugly game. And doing a pretty good job. Um, so we got a resubscribe for seven months in a row from Kalteran saying, uh, X, congrats on five years. Thanks for your cameo at the Minecon panel. And we've got a new subscriber here. It's BugmanCX. Hope you're enjoying the stream, my friend. Thank you for subscribing. And a donation from Roku Hasu saying, Congrats on five years of awesome. I haven't been around that long, but I found you through Python. Give him a diamond or an axe to the back. An axe to the back to say thanks. Keep on minding. Uh, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, it's a big old ship. A Japanese ship. Wow. We're going to walk up to that portal and go through. I don't think I really ever played this game. Um, Lewis Shinton says, how much left on stream? I honestly don't know. I'm so excited right now. We're just going to crack on with this. Extreme Lighting says, hey, X, what are you most excited for in 1.11? Oh, I don't know. All of it. <laughs> it's all really good. Uh, I think the new mansion with the new mobs is really, really exciting. Oh, maybe you don't go through the portal. I kind of want to go through the portal and know now. Look at these old maps. Bam! Ah! Oh, taking damage. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, it's, oh, jeez, it's a gauntlet! Hello! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Quick! Run faster! Oh my goodness me! Oh, that was crazy cool. Well, this is what old map... Drown in. No thanks. This is what old maps look like, peeps. This is all the ideas they had. Drown to death. That's literally all we're doing here. Can we make it? Is there anything to make it to? I think we're going to die if we don't swim up. Oh, no, that's the end. Look. Aha. Very cool. Very cool. Let's go through the Golden Gate. Val says, an hour late, what did I miss? Uh, we just had so much fun going through old worlds. Look at this, some old school Minecraft building right here. This is like a really old school map. So I, I, I'm impressed, like it was obvious what was great about this game a long time ago. I think my Minecraft needs a restart. I think it's hit the memory, oh no it hasn't hit the memory bug. Nope, fail. <laughs> oh well. Um, that was cool. That was cool. So I want to see if this legendary map is the one that I played in for a long time. Yes, it is. I know where we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness me. So legendary is an extremely difficult old school Minecraft map made by Vex. Uh, super hostile. If you never heard of super hostile, like it is, it was the thing to play. It was like really legendary Minecraft stuff. And this was one of the hardest maps. And I played it a lot. And I can't even tell you where I am. Probably in the beginning area. This was a huge map. Man, Vex must have put like so much time and effort into this. And I think this was like a temporary base that I made. And these were to keep mobs out. And yeah, this, this, this game is like, this map is full of hostiles. There is trouble everywhere. Uh, explosions and traps galore. It's just a ginormous old school uh, Minecraft experience, really. But yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna even like attempt to explore this because we'll die. 
extremely quickly and there's there's all sorts of stuff everywhere very cool to see this again though cool so the other ones uh, I didn't play very well but Sunburn Islands is the very easy one I think where are we oh got some diamond armor let's put it on <laughs> oh look at that old dispenser texture that's ugly look at that looks like a frowning face let's go all the way up to the top here I think got a vague idea where we have this is a really cool map an easy one but a cool one uh, wizard havoc says love the old school MC sounds they sound great don't they absolutely great yeah this is right there is a map that goes with this game and being able to see the map and know all the different layouts basically you spend a lot of time going around in a boat going to different areas and each area is a different challenge and I found a really good place to start, you can't shift click them. <laughs> to start and make uh, yeah, a really good way in this game. And I don't know if it's that island, I don't think it is. Let's swim around for a bit. So there is this island that had like a mob spawner in it and it was made out of wood and wood's like a really good resource and oh it's so cool. Eighth Kingdom says I've heard of Super Hostile but never played it. Someone should recreate it for 1.11. Well you see Vex now does uh, let's plays so he doesn't really make maps anymore, but no one, no one could make them like him. Like his, his uh, super hostile maps had a really distinct feel. Honestly, I think, I think if you're a patient player, that you could really get a kick about about going back to old updates and playing a map like Super Hostile. Uh, this one, Kaz Casio Caverns, is it? Or no, sorry, Sunburn Islands is the easiest one, and uh, I recommend it because the challenges aren't too difficult. And you can have a lot of fun with it. Now, this thing over here, I believe, had gas spawners on it. And if it is what I think it is, we're going to head back towards where I have my base, which I really want to go and see. Because when you play super hostile, you live in the world. You don't, you don't like progress through areas. You tend to set up a base and then go explore and find all the different challenges. And uh, I believe I may have made this railway. Right? There's my base. Oh man, this is so cool. This is so cool. Uh, Ty can't play says uh, Vex still works on Super Hostile maps. That's really cool. I should really tune in and find out when his next one's coming out. Uh, Len Rock eighty nine is here, resubscribing for four months in a row. Thank you so much, my friend. And Rocky Avalon here with another donation saying, "Can we visit the island of forgotten tutorials that never made it? Uh, we will. We will look for some tutorial stuff. That's for sure." Oh, this is serious nostalgia right here. This is this is the Minecraft I remember. It was a different game a long time ago. You had to really work for things. Like you had to spend a lot of time. I miss this experience. I want to go and play one of these one day again. Do an old school series like back when you couldn't even sprint <laughs> and there were no enchantments and you had to walk around like this for ages. <laughs> I should have got a minecart. I probably got one on me. No, I haven't. Right, this is my old base up here. Man, what do I remember about this? Look at those supplies, man. I was rich. Ah, yes. Right, so out there is this area, which I used to cannibalize for resources. And the whole island was made out of wood. So every time you were like digging out your base, you were getting resources. We've got farms up the top here. We've got cactus farms, wheat farms, and... Uh, other little things and then inside here we got our supply chests and there were spawners in this thing so somewhere in here there should be a mob farm look at me old resources amazing oh this is so cool <laughs> this is really really fun for me I hope you guys are enjoying it too old school Minecraft um, yes yeah, so if we go down below again there should be a spawner yeah there's a water stream there for where you collect items I think the spawn will be somewhere around... Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh, that's right. I used to burn them with daylight. Aha, look. There they are. So we're activating the spawners. They eventually nudge each other onto there. And we use sunlight to burn them. Very cool stuff. Oh, this is so much fun. Bugman says, gold tools. <laughs> Daniel says, but compared to now, you improved a lot. Well, this is different. This is a This is like an adventure game. Um, it wasn't quite the same Minecraft experience. So we've seen those, right, all of those we're done with. I've got some more maps lying around um, that we're going to check out. I believe, I believe I actually just found the old Geomine world. It just made, it just clicked in my head what I was looking at. Uh, that one right there. Oh, and it's got a date on it. Okay, this is... 
The 9th of October, 2011. Let's go play this one. This is going to be cool. False used to play on this world, so that's going to be amazing. Oh, will it load? Oh, yes. It's Geomine. We've got to turn down that sound, though. Oh, and it's separated. No, it's not even, is what I mean. Oh, peeps, this is some serious nostalgia right here. The Geomine world. False used to play on this server. Mumbo eventually joined it when it had a different world. Uh, oh, my goodness me. The first place I have to go to. Chris Hanna. Oh, my goodness me. My old friends. I don't even know what they're doing anymore. Like This is, this is pre-YouTube stuff right here. So this is what got me started on YouTube videos. Down here, we will see what got me into it. False says, oh, no. <laughs> yep, it's that world. We're going to go visit False's base. Do I remember where False was set up, though? I think I do. Yes, I think I do remember where False was. James Shoplin says X. Have any advice for balancing two worlds or for YouTube or something without having similar builds, etc.? Basically, how do you keep it deferred? Um, I think, I think, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the question is, but if it's how do you keep things like variety and interesting, it's, it's just sort of like... I don't know how to describe that, really. That's right, there's a little entrance here. I'm sorry, I picked out your question. I don't feel like I can answer it. Um, there's a way in here. There it is, it's the wall block. I'm really not sure how to answer that, because I'm not sure if I really understand it. This right here is Static Slime Farm. This is when I first started watching YouTube videos, and we followed this tutorial to build this, and after that, that's when I got inspired to upload. So there's a little bit of... Uh, Inception would be the correct word. Inception for you right there. Right, let's head up and find Falses base. Hmm, excuse me. Kazfu says, still thinking that old Doom guy skin would grow great with a stream. Oh, it would. It really would, wouldn't it? I should have done that. I wish I'd have fought ahead a little bit. Nostalgia skin, nostalgia worlds. We could have just done nothing but nostalgia. Right, so my base is over there. Uh, False is back this way. This little room right here is for the slime farm. No, it's the cactus farm. The next one's the slime farm. There's someone's tree house. Actually, did I build that? I might have built that. Uh, slime farm right here. Oh, we had carpets back. No, that's wall. That's not carpet. There's the old slime farm mechanism. Oh, we've got double music at the moment, I've just realised. <laughs> double music bug, says Nikki. There it goes. Here it is. Welcome to... Full Symmetry's house. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> your your name has been leaked, False. I'm sorry. I had no idea that would be there. Um, hopefully that's not a problem anymore. Jeez. Um, yeah, this is False's area. So you can see, old school building. But remember, this is when you only had like one wood texture. And you can see, look, nice roof shape. Kitchen area. False is pretty good at building back then. That's very cool. Oh, and this little house over here is, is a house that I built for another player on the server. Oh, God, it's so weird how different the game was. It's kind of ugly. Um, yeah, I built this little house for someone and then they never really used it. False <laughs> uh, says, yeah, my name's out. All is good. Oh, good, good to hear. I <laughs> felt quite bad for a second there. Okay, so hopping up here, I built those little melon farms. Um, there's stuff all over the place because so many people played on here. Anyway, let's go check out my one. We could explore this place for ages. Oh, there's actually a really crazy project as well that we should go check out. <laughs> Full says, yeah, it's Keith, honest, brilliant. Tuxedo Cat says, it's totally better than your uh, Hermitcraft 4 builds, RP. <laughs> oh... Oh man, my base, my base here is quite, quite big. Um, so this is the entrance to my base. Glass pyramid with slabs on top. Redstone action going on right there. Uh, hello, Wolfie. You coming along for the ride? Yeah, you are. Down here we have some more stuff. Entrance room, which I never finished. Uh, then we have me doing some more redstone shenanigans. And then this little lava tube leading you down. 
down into the base, which I really liked. I used to build underground, right? Oh. Oh, I'm stuck in the soul sand. Hi, I don't want to be stuck. There we go. <laughs> uh, I used to build underground. This is my little area. It's like a little shopping street underground. And you can go in here, and this is where you can get your wolf from. You can also hit the lever and... Hello, Wolfie, inside a chest. Get a crafting bench. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Then we've got the kitchen room where you go and eat. There's food at the back there. We've got our tree farm down there. Very cool. Uh, another corridor of unfinished stuff. A sand duplicating machine. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. So cheaty, even back then. Uh, Fool says, haha, remember all this. Where's the vault? The vault's right there. Okay. And then here we have... Oh, Wolfie jumping up and down. What is this room? I've forgotten. I think there used to be redstone here. Uh, maybe this is which one I never finished. We uh, we played on this world for longer than the backup that I have, so there'll be more stuff. And there is something really cool. It's my valuables, the vault, built out of obsidian. Pretty cool. Uh, there is something back here aha, that might still be there that is extremely cool. And every now and then I think about it, I'm like, oh man, that bug. So if we go, yep, spider spawn. If we go over here and around the corner... Um, there's this bug where mushrooms grow indefinitely. And we should see... Oh, here it is! Look at this! Look! There's just nothing but mushrooms everywhere. Oh, when I found this, I was like, what is going on? Um, oh, it's an old school creeper! I've got no armor on! Jeez, we better cheese it, Wolfie. Quick, to the water! <laughs> oh, seriously, if we were to just explore wherever this stuff goes, it goes everywhere. Or at least it did at one point. Maybe in this update it hasn't spread as far. Um, oh, so cool. Do you have a music channel, says Bowie MTL. I do, actually. Uh, you can use Nightbot commands to, to get the link. So that was cool. And, uh, yeah, that's spread everywhere. And then around the back of my base, around here, there is... Yep, that room. We've already been in here. There is a mushroom farm back there. And then up this staircase, there is a mob farm as well. Fool says, lol, your secret mushroom vault. Yeah. It, I, don't, I don't think it was a secret as such, but it's kind of a secret. I don't know. Press this button. Magic happens. Lights come on. That like This stuff like used to take so long to do. No instamine. Don't push me in, Wolfie. This is an old school mob farm, by the way. Is uh, what we're seeing there. That's how I get loads of drops and loot. Extremely cool. Autism Father says, old school creeper, lol. Yeah, I guess they haven't actually changed much, but they just feel so much more terrifying. Uh, there's a wheat farm up there. And I've got one more project to show you in this world, I guess, then. Sam Nugget, he says, in X's tutorial tutorial, one of his tips was not to shake the mouse around real fast. Yeah, he's like a kid in a candy store at the moment. He's doing exactly that. Yep, I, I think I said in the video I would have made some of these mistakes myself. It's just kind of inevitable. Can we not? No. <laughs> no is the answer. We cannot. Right, let's put it there. And... Oh! Oh, right. This is all really different. You can't... Quick, get in there. No, don't put... Oh, Wolfie, what are you doing? Jeez, he's a hyper wolf. Get out of it. Stop jumping up and down, you. Right. Now bump into it, Wolfie. <laughs> well, Wolfie, help us. Oh, jeez. Jeez! Oh no! Quick, get in it! Oh, uh, this is. We're gonna go out the slow way. <laughs> uh, B Martinez says, "Do you play Minecraft every day, sir?" Pretty much, yeah. And uh, we have a resubscribe for six months in a row from Respawn seventy nine. Appreciate it, buddy. And uh, Heterological has subscribed. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, buddy. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Make it rain says lol. Okay, I have to laugh at that. I think a lot of people were laughing at that. That was pretty funny. Right, so let's go. Tesco. No, we're going to go. Do you like this area, by the way? I spent a lot of time planting trees and putting down flowers and trying to make it all look pretty. It's actually really nice for like a, an old school little. Look, you've got benches. Look at me being creative. I never build benches anymore. Oh, I built this. Yeah, cobblestone generators. And this is another house that I built for someone else. I spent ages on this and it looks terrible. <laughs> I 
I think I might have built this building as well. Uh, there's some oh, there's houses all over the place. There's loads of people used to live on here. Zombie Hunter says we need the boring voice. I don't think I can do it again. Right, this is one of those Asuma bites off more than he can choose over here. This is uh, like a big project. And I think if we go in this way, we're going to have a bad time. But we're going to do that anyway. Twisted Tube says, got to go now. Bye, Asuma. Bye, Fools. And bye, chat. Bye, Nightbot. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Right, boom. This is a giant squid farm. Oh, you can't really see anything. I built a massive basin here. I really hope we can get out of this thing. I think we might be able to. Yes, we can. Brilliant. Uh, look at what I dug. Old school Minecraft. <laughs> a massive ginormous cylinder down into the ground. And then we converted it into a squid farm. Hi, Wolfie. And Oh, watch your bones. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got like not very far through with this. As you can see, that's why we converted it. But yeah, crazy old school build. Oh, amazing stuff. Old school epic sode, says Exoskeleton. You could call it that. Right. So, in our journey back through old worlds, I think we've seen like a lot of them. And I don't think there's going to be too much more interesting. I have... Ooh. That might be an interesting world, but we won't load it up. Test world. Let's load up test world. And that world. Yeah, okay. Two more worlds for you, peeps. If I can get there, unfortunately I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Assume be derping right now. Assume be derping. <laughs> right, so they have successfully copied. We now have <clears throat> this one right here, which needs to be converted. That is a new world. I had a right, we don't need to go into that one. I had a feeling it might be. And that is also a little bit newer than this world. Right. Oh, this world. Aha. This is a big old test world right here. Okay. Okay. This is, yeah, this is one that I did a lot of work in. A lot of YouTube stuff is in this. Uh, <laughs> oh, that minecart looked like it was floating in the air. What is this? This is like a, an old school elevator by the looks of it. So, was that supposed to be activated with redstone here? Oh, you can't middle click. Let's find out if it works. I want to get on. Quick. Oh, we're going... No. Oh, come on. Let's go up. Hi. Hi. Uh. <laughs> it doesn't work. It don't work. No, it don't. All right. We can stop that now. <laughs> oh, I'm wondering if we'll see anything cool over here. Uh, False might remember this one because False helped me record a video for it. Uh. Oh, I remember where it is. That's amazing. Look. Like, oh, is that not how it works? Ah, that's how it works. Look at that. So, you put your torch there and it drops into the water. But then you get to go that way. Oh, I think I've broken it. I think... Oh, there you go. Look. Okay, we're in a cave. Put the torch there. Go through. And then somewhere around here you can collect your torch again from the water stream. How cool is that, right? That's an old school video. Forces in that video. Very cool. Oh, delicious. Right. Old school creative inventory. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. Look at that. Old school lever armor. Old school block going back and forth. You saw it. <laughs> Old school everything. This is Sokar's melon farm, cactus farm. Oh, so many cool things um, that we designed back in the day. Pretty cool, right? Little enchanting setups. Old school cave spider farms. Old school farming setup thing. <laughs> Everything is old school. People really love this design. Uh, this is another thing that I did back in the day that people really liked. You see, nowadays I more sort of like know the game inside out and just like entertain. Uh, whereas back then I used to just constantly create stuff. And one of them that I did, which I think... I think this is another concept which was a bit unique to me. You know, so many people who play Minecraft you never really know, but I never saw this elsewhere, was to stack farms vertically to save space. I really like that idea. And so I made a lot of stuff where you could um, stack the farm on top of itself over and over again. And uh, got a lot of good reception, you know, feedback for that. This is from doing some testing. Uh, here's me doing some advanced redstone. I believe this is going to be a potion brewing setup. Let's have a look. Look at that. Oh my. 
And look at the size of it as well. Like, think about what we do today. So let me tell you what you're looking at. I believe this is some sort of decoder. Basically, uh, we will send a signal up to these redstone torches here. And turn These wolves are getting extremely annoying. Uh, you send a signal up to one of these torches, and then it turns off this redstone. And what you've got to look for is these multiple uh, torches. So this is this right here is nether wart, because you always have nether wart. And then the other ingredients would have a torch as well. And it activates the line below, which gives you the correct ingredients to go into the water. And down below to the player to do brewing. This is pre-hoppers, man. This is before hoppers existed. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like something Jumbo would do, says uh, Calvin95. Yeah, it was very, very in the vein of some old school Mumbo style redstone. I mean, it's the techniques and the circuits you're looking at were used by a lot of people. Yeah, this is it when it works. Look at that. Oh, this is pre hoppers and pre automation. Like, and now you could just um, put all the things that it gave you into there. That's so cool. So, again, like you select your options down here, uh, you know, and then it sends up here. Yeah, you can see it much clearer now, right? Like, when this gets turned off, multiple redstone bits are going to turn on. And then they're going to um, yeah, activate the correct dispenser. Very cool stuff. Old school animal breeders right here. These were pretty cool. This is... I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a melon farm of some sort. What do we have down here? The tree farm version 2. Made a tutorial on that. I remember that very well. Uh, more animal breeders. A lot of you... Well, I say a lot. Some of you watching might remember this. That, I believe, is not a video I released. Uh, this one over here is. So, this was another very successful video for my animal breeders. Lots of people used to comment on uh, the thumbnail, having the view of this building, and inside were all the farms. Really enjoyed making that. Um, somewhere around here, we might see the stuff that I did with Red Eyes. This is a old-school mob farm. Yeah! This is when I discovered the whole uh, shifting floors thing, and mob drops would fall through them. And the mobs will fall down to here and you can collect their drops. These are some funnel farms. These were not mine. These were imported from other people's worlds. I think Monkey Farm might be responsible for some of those. Uh, this is, I believe, Red Eyes's... Or maybe no. Maybe this is something I made. I'm not sure what that is. Now, this is Red Eyes's XP Slime Farm. This idea I wanted to show for the longest time. But he basically made it so um, you soften all the different types of slimes and turn it into an XP farm. And then over here we have our different... Um, let's get a slime egg. Slime egg, please. Slime egg. <laughs> I, they, they don't exist yet, do they? Wait, how did we used to spawn them in? How did we do that? No commands, no eggs. What? Am I going mad? Am I going bonkers? In my brain space. How did we used to spawn them? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, how did I test this stuff? What's going on? I don't even know. So that's one that Red Eyes made. Uh, these are several designs that Red Eyes made. And this one sort of looks like one of mine. And this one over here is my final one for splitting slimes. Dude, does anyone know how you used to do it? <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like I'm going nuts. Like, there must be something here for spawning mobs. How do we used to spawn them? No commands. Ah. <laughs> mods probably such as any eye says make it rain. I think you're right. I must have played with any eye on. Yeah. That, that used to be essential, didn't it? Right then. Well, we've seen a lot that this world has to offer. I don't think we're going to see anything too spectacular else. Uh, this is a segment of the very first shifting floor design that we came up with. It's funny because I, I came up with this thing here and then Doc M came back at me like, dude, you don't even need the trapdoors. You just have a flat floor and they're actually falling through the block, not through the gap, uh, which is cool. Uh, experimental sheep farm over here. I believe that water was supposed to flow from the back. Yeah, look at that. And then it all bob up and down. Can we disable all that redstone? So the idea here... Yes, we can. Hello, creeper. The idea here is that they bob up and down and you shear them. But the, then then the um, 
wall gets pushed down to the end, but it wasn't a very good idea. There's a sheep farm design, there's an old piston, super lightning speed piston bug thing that might actually still work. Can we get a boat? Can we get a boat, please? Does this even work? Oh my goodness me, it works! Look at that! How cool is that? I love this. This is awesome. Hi. Oh, this is giving me some serious inspiration now. Uh, what are these things? These are wheat farms. Oh my goodness me. Uh, this is the this is the re-equipper. So when you die, I made this contraption where you could stand and get re-equipped. You used to stand right here, press the button, and all the items would come out in the right order. I don't think that one works, does it, Creeper? Oh! Did it just start doing psych? Are these empty? I don't know what it's doing! <laughs> also, something's inside of it. Oh, there's a boat. I just put a boat inside of it. This is cool. <laughs> right, nothing from that one, and... Uh, yeah, I think we should call it a day with the nostalgia. It's been really, really fun, but uh should probably get back on Hermitcraft now. Here's another mob farm. There's a couple of my mob farms over here. Ones that I never released because I was never happy with them. Or maybe I did release this one. But it was, yeah, it ended up being... Yeah, I had this idea, like, what if all your spawning spaces just retracted instantly and all the mobs could instantaneously fall down the same space, but it ended up being ridiculous like lack of spawning space cool peeps i think we're done here let's hop on back onto hermitcraft and uh do a little bit more of that path that was cool i want to rechat. i've been chatting away to myself and i want to read chat now um and we got to resubscribe for three months in a row from mcnoobie saying when does 1.11 arrive in three days can you believe it we will get our first taste of 1.11 and then probably not long after that will we see um the full thing there we go uh let's delete that did you visit Old Hermitcrafts as Little Rivers? I did not, but you just gave me a fantastic idea. I am opening a, uh, a notepad. You gave me an absolutely fantastic idea for another special live stream. Um, but it might not be quite what you think. That's what it might not be. Hi! Right, so we're back on the Hermitcraft. Oh, I wanted to fly around because we've been doing too much creative mode here. Um, I think what we're going to do is leave that exactly as it is, get rid of this yellow clay, put in some, ooh, let's go for some dirt and a little bit of stone alongside it as well. And now what we've got to do is turn this into a proper entrance slash archway. Anyway, if you've got questions, put them in chat. Frank says, thanks X for the nostalgia trip. I wish I had my first world to visit again. Yeah, backups, man. Keep backups of stuff like that. I know it's no point me telling you it now, but yeah, it's really nice to be able to do that. So um, for anyone watching who's like new or you know has got their old worlds, definitely keep backups. It's it's worth doing. It's fun. I'm I'm a little bit surprised at some of the stuff I backed up, but it kind of makes sense because I've been in that habit of backing things up for so long. Um, you know, I, I was bound to have quite a few things backed up, which. I didn't expect, I guess, like uh, like some of those pre worlds. There are a few other in few others in that folder that look really interesting as well. Like the names of them, I was like, this is me trying to create my own little maps and then getting bored of it probably. Right, we need some more stone blocks in here to make this work. I think. I also feel like we're going right up against the side of it. Uh, what we should probably do is a little bit of that sort of shape as well. So we're going to knock out a couple of these and push them back a little bit in places. I should do just fine. Alrighty then. Uh, we have a new subscriber here on the channel. It is N Philandrical. <laughs> N Philandrical. Probably butchered your name. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate your support, buddy. Hope you're enjoying today's stream. And peeps, if you haven't followed me here on Twitch, remember to hit that follow button. I do live streams every other day. Which is slowly destroying my voice, I believe. <laughs> Why aren't you YouTube live streaming, says uh, Pagasis? Because I have a Twitch partnership. I can't stream on YouTube. Uh, to Hamster says, Hey, Asuma, is the X in your name silent? And if so, 
why did you add it in the first place? Because it looks cool, man. Um, you can say Asuma however you want. It's a made-up name. It is a name that be made up. Kind of like all names, right? Ooh, ooh. Let's fall down here. Uh, the Avano says, X, you should make a hermit craft full of Hall of Fame. Kind of like Force's patron build for every hermit they ever joined or something. Which describes them in the display. Like Mumbo's a spoon in Redstone. Um, we are... Let's pop down here. We are... Um, so we are... I have been considering doing something like that for a long time. But I think it's one of those projects where... Building the first like monument for a hermit or something is really interesting. But then they're all going to end up being the same dealio. And so you end up doing the same thing over and over again. Like in terms of uh, a project to do. Which I'm not so keen on. But it would certainly look cool somewhere to have like the Valley of the Hermits. There's the Melody Farm. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I need some cobble. And we've got very little left. Let's see if we actually got... Um, some cobble in here. Aha, look. We've got the other things that I would craft. So maybe actually we don't take all of that cobble. I like to leave a lot in the chest because um, it lets me know like how much we have. There we go. I'm just going to leave it alone. Right, back we go. Uh, Inner Inf says, X, I think you missed the donation. It's possible. Uh, I believe... Yeah, I did. Uh, Rocky Avalon says... Make it rain goes by Wolfie, and every time you talk to your pet, he cries of laughter. Yes, yes, that's a good point. I get it now. Sorry for missing your donation, buddy. Appreciate that. Thank you, as always. Falk says, a patron monument for X's patrons would take ages to build, but that would be awesome. I, I feel like I, I don't want to do a, a patron monument in, in the world here. I, I don't know. It doesn't... For me, it doesn't feel like that's very hermit crafty. Like, that's a separate thing I do. Um, not to... You know, not that I don't want to build something for my patrons. No, that's not what I mean. I just mean it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel very hermit crafty to do that kind of stuff um, to, for me. So anyway, um, let's let's put a little bit of some stairs like that, so we got maybe a bit more of a transition between uh, the two bits. That's all good, and then we'll have some coming up from here. Maybe the occasional bit of dirt, I'm not so sure. This is really quite different from what we did before. Because uh, it's going to like become part of the ceiling at some point. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I also think we're going to cover up the lighting from, from this area. It feels about right. Oh, that's, that, I don't even know what I'm doing. Right, we need some more cobblestone, that's for sure. Fox says we completely understand X... It's something a bit more personal. Yeah, yeah, it's personal. Like, you know, each person has a different opinion on what to do with it. Uh, we got another new subscriber here. It is my my Kelly. <laughs> I'm not sure. My Kelly. It kind of reads like my Kelly. Thank you for subscribing. Do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm having a great time. This was a great idea, actually. I was talking earlier about how knackered I was and uh, I'd done so much today, and then I'm streaming again. Golden Monkey says, Andesite X, Andesite, Golden Monkey's having a panic attack. Oh no, use the Andesite. I've got to go get some more, don't I? It's all the way back at my box. Genius. <laughs> Pro GJ says, why no PO box? There is no PO box because I, um, first of all, don't want people to know where I live. <laughs> uh, second of all, can't afford a PO box. Uh, Oyster Snag says, hey X, I'm heading out to work now, but I wanted to stop by and say congrats on five years. Such an awesome accomplishment. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thanks for uh, tuning in and letting me know. Oh, didn't want to place that there really, did we? Hi, and a site we'd be running low on. Just saying, we'd be running low on that beautiful block. <laughs> X, don't forget to use some Durarite in your build, says uh, you're in 92. If I do that, I'll get blown up by a certain someone. There'll be, uh, <laughs> there'll be TNT there in no time, I bet you. He's at Minecon. I bet you'd appear all of a sudden and blow it up. Hey, look at that over there. That's kind of cool. I feel like we need to do something with that. Like, build a path that goes across there. You could build, like, an elevated bridge. Oh, that's quite quite the idea, actually. I like that. I like building bridges. What about, like, a stream project? We build a giant bridge that goes down to that bit. Just for the sake... Hey, look, someone's extended that over there as well. That's... Oh, I want to see that because that wasn't part of the original plan. But 
it makes sense because there's another district back there that we use or yeah that's where the farming district is and that that needs some oh man we're gonna go investigate that I'm getting all excited <laughs> Mind Clash JTM says, "Hey, serious question: What is the average age of your viewers?" Uh, I have a slightly higher uh, age gap, I think, than what you'd expect. Uh, my my average viewer group is from it's basically young adults. It's like 13 to 35. I forget how YouTube breaks it up. Actually, I could get those numbers for you. How about that? Let's. It's a special stream. I'll pop on and look at me analytics. How about that? Apparently it's forces work, says Chocobo. Or, or actually it's just Cho Chobok. Who loves Chocobos? I love Chocobos. Some people are going, what are Chocobos? <laughs> Chocobos are amazing, don't you know? Don't you know about that Chocobo? Yeah, Chocobos are sweet. Oh, no, not that way. Actually, ah, it kind of works that way. All right. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Fine then, game. We'll do it your way. Okay, let's get rid of that dirt. That's, that's needing a slab. Bam! And I feel like we need a full block of cobble right there. That is, that's a nice start. I feel like just that little bit right there says a lot about what I'm trying to do. So maybe going with that will help us a lot. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Bit of cobble, bit of andesite, then a stone and, ooh, how to do this bit. A little bit of that. And some of that. Or is that a bit too flat? Maybe one there. That's good. That is some good stuff. Right. Morgan Corn says X to celebrate five years. I decided to head to your Hermitcraft 001 episode. I loved it. I'm glad you liked it. It is very old school Minecraft playing. Very old school. Very, very 1.1. <laughs> actually, it probably was 1.1. I don't know actually what, what what season Hermitcraft one was in, but anyway, I, I'm just goofing around right now. I'm in a goofy mood. Okay. Uh, that's kind of good. That gives it a little bit of depth there. Let's chuck in... Oh, that's like hanging a bit. That actually works really well. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, that one will change to some stairs. We're going to turn those stairs in the other direction, though. Okay. Also, please listen to the moderators in chat. They are telling you something important. How do you update Hermitcraft to 1.11, says Tronic Sky. Uh, well, that's a control panel thing. You go into your control panel for your server and, you know, you hit the update button. Basically, it's it's different on each control panel, but that's kind of what it's about. All right, let's continue with this. This is looking good. Do I have glowstone on me? I feel like we actually need uh, some ceiling lamps. And we're going to put one there. And I'm just going to put the glowstone next to that one. That's cool. Right, and then some of this, some of this will have slabs on it, but we'll do that in a bit. Okay, and then, yeah, we'll we'll put all the other stuff on underneath. Let's get all of this filled in. This can actually go. I can walk through that space. Just kind of want to finish this up now and then go check out what Falls built. Uh, like that? Yeah, that, that's what we'll have there. Okay, sweet. But now we're trapped inside. <laughs> We've no way out. Except for here. Yay. Right. Apologies for being quiet. I was trying to get those numbers for you. Uh, demographics. That'll be the one. Okay, so my average age groups, the biggest ones, are 18 to 24... And 25 to 34, and we're talking, oh, I don't know how much, like 60% of my audience is that age. Yeah, 65% is between 18 uh, to 34. And then 13% is younger, 14% is older, and that's, that's, that's that, that's those numbers for you. Okay, so we've got a couple more noises in me here, which I'll read in a moment. Just want to finish this one off now. Uh, I feel like there should be a bit of a... Oh, we need to eat. A bit of a thing here. Like that. Good. And then the ceiling actually kind of looks a bit finished. So maybe just one or two of these is all we need. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. I'm really happy with how that's turned out, actually. 
maybe maybe a couple more bits where the stone and stuff transitions like that probably wouldn't hurt I feel like here looks a bit off so maybe with a couple more bits and bobs it will look alright yeah that's a little bit better isn't it just a little bit cool alright now we're going to go investigate what Force has been up to So, I'm going to have a sip of tea and then we're going to read these messages on the way over there. Uh, Sunny Muru says, I wouldn't trust YouTube analytics. Many young viewers uh, lie about their age to watch age-restricted videos. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. It's probably obscured by that sort of stuff. So, we've got a donation here from Huckle2342 saying, Hex, here is a... Here is my five year celebration donation, as always enjoying the stream. The longer I listen to you, the more I get the feeling we're the same age from cultural references you make. Don't read. Uh, sort of cheesecake. We're not the same, but you're close is what I'll say to you. Cheesecake. <laughs> I like the reference. It's, like, I'm even saying it's the code word. You could have said say code word. <laughs> I've just, I, I could have gone, oh, I really fancy a cheesecake right now. Oh, and no one would have known. They would have thought that X just wanted a cheesecake when really he was secretly communicating. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're like, and I love like 90s music, um, especially 90s music that was sort of a bit before when I was into music. So yeah, that will probably be why uh, you see a bit of a similarity. So this has been repeated correctly by the looks of it, which satisfies the OCD. Let's walk all the way over here. Too many torches! There shouldn't be any torches here. Oh, it's because they're unpowered. <laughs> we'll have to go along and put some uh, redstone blocks underneath there. This is great. I, I am going to put it forward to the other hermits, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. We need to throw some love at this area here, and moving from like white to that district, uh, I'm enjoying this. You know, I, I really want by the end of the season that each of these districts feel somewhat finished and fleshed out, because look at this, like... I don't know where the path would go here. Maybe maybe over this way, actually, so that um, it would probably change into a different path so that it connects with Joe's. But there's so much space here. I feel like each district needs some love. Like, people need to come over here, build things, and, like, make it feel finished. Because the residential areas are really, like, nicely fleshed out. The shopping district is great. The white district has um, really, really come together well. Just needs a bit of finishing off. And Orange District has a few bits and bobs in it. And then we got our Farming Districts, which need a bit more stuff in it. So I want to come over here and build a big building like this. I feel like these two have sort of set a standard for big and boxy, which would be a nice theme to continue. So I'm going to build something over there um, eventually. Lego Boy says, do you like the Beatles? I do. I was listening to Rubber Soul the other day, really enjoying that. Um, I found it interesting just how I like knew every song because... You know, they're the Beatles. Uh, we've got a donation here, Noise in the Ear, from Morgan Corn saying, Happy anniversary, buddy. Thank you for the amazing years of content you provided. No problem at all, my friend. I'm glad you've uh, enjoyed them. I really am glad, humbled. And uh, yeah, here's to more years to come. <laughs> Sean MP says, Do you think I'm brand new? Oh. Why is your age 105 in Facebook, says JC Fuggy? Because I couldn't set it to five. So I added 100. And it was my birthday today on Facebook. If you didn't know, you can follow me on Facebook. Hi, someone's shooting me. It'll be false. From the sky. Probably flying above me, actually. There you go. She wasn't shooting me. She was just uh, flying with a boost bow. So, oh, maybe she is shooting me. <laughs> I feel like I'm being shot at now. I'll take it back. False is trying to kill me. Let's see if we can shoot her while she's flying. Where is she? I don't see her now. She's gone invisible. Oh, there, we, there she is. Quick, quick, quick. Shoot. Shoot the false. Oh, that looked close. I love it if you caught... I reckon shooting someone with an elytra is just one of the toughest things to do in this game. Like, you've got to have some serious... Oh! Oh, I could have shot her then, probably. Why is she black? I don't know. She's stealth false now. Oh, <laughs> This is nuts. I think I think it might even be difficult. Like if I was shooting and force even tried to fly into them, 
Like, I think even that would be difficult. So Iskow will build a tower here one day, which will look great next to that one. The paths will connect and go through the middle. We need more things in White District. Um, I love this world. I love how much stuff there is, and I want to keep populating it. I don't want to... I'm not one of these people who wants to start over and build the same stuff again. I want to see like the server progress and grow. So this goes down here and around there. That looks amazing. Uh, this bit here could probably do with a little bit of... Uh, Furnishing and such. I love cats. Says you have a Facebook. What? Yeah. If any of you want to follow me on Facebook, that's the thing that I have. It's literally there to uh, do my Twitter and for me to post fan art there. And then we got Cub Fan's little tower here, and of course, little things like this all over the place just are awesome. I do like them. Oh. Oh, fireworks! Thanks. <laughs> Let's celebrate five years with some fireworks. Oh man, this place is amazing. Hi, I'm getting shot at again. Jeez, Force just wants to kill me. She's got an Ender Dragon head on, that's why. Look at all those... Uh... Oh, almost moved in. Hey, I got you, Force. I got you. Run away. Run away now. Oh! <laughs> I think that backfired. Jeez. Uh, no, I don't have any wood on me. Right, before anything despawns, we need to get a chest. We've got five minutes. And we've got a noise in my ear. I'll get to that in a second because we are panicking like Anakin. Uh, no wood in there. That's kind of disappointing. Full, uh, false cub, did you leave behind supplies? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the means to craft a chest. And my inventory is full. Oh, goodness me. I hope false is heading over here. Is there like a tree I could punch down? I could grow a tree, couldn't I? This is why I've got this super ender chest. Okay. Let's try that again. Apparently I already had some bones. And let's get my axe. Oh, I've got to be quicker than this. Okay. <laughs> uh, emergency tree growing time. Is that all the grass we've got? No, over here. Right. <laughs> False dies. Asuma grows a tree. Trust me, this is the way to do things. We've got time. We've still got time. Okay, so one, two, one, two. And then do that. Voila. And then doopity doop. All of that goes in there. Including the axe. I'll keep my arrows though. Oh, Ender Dragon Heads. Don't mind if I do. Finders Keepers. Isn't that how it works? I believe that's how it works. <laughs> Oh, that would be cruel. Right, that looks kind of like most of it, but we'll, of course, double, triple check. Uh, actually, we don't want to... Oh, i got false to say I'm keeping that, actually. <laughs> I'll have that. That's the... That wasn't hers. That's mine to claim, I think. Uh, Bugman says, bet she arrives before we get organised. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So now, uh, now what we can do is just like put her items in here and take our one backwards as well. That didn't sound very Englishly, did it? Take R1 backwards. Cool. So now I have everything. Sorry, everything down here is hers. So then we can start shift clicking this. And then do the same again. Pretty cool, right? That's how you save someone's items when you're playing with them. And you're killing them. <laughs> you're doing all of this and that. Cool, there we go. All done. Well, you died. Apparently, I'm a big meanie. I mean, I was the one getting... False was the aggressor. <laughs> False was the aggressor here. Uh, oh, I got a dragon's head. Wait, did I not do all of that correctly then? Because... Now, that's my axe. Because I, I thought I did that correctly. Now, that kind of looks like all of my stuff, doesn't it? There's not anything valuable there. GG, GG false. <laughs> I'm going to get away before she starts shooting me. X, you put your own helmet in the chest, says James D. Brew. Ah. Oh. Aha, Sumer's helm. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, false spotted that as well. Swiss Piplup says saving items tutorial. Yeah, it could be. It could make a video, couldn't it? Uh, we got a donation here, noise in the ear, from Bro Professional Gamers saying, you don't have to read out aloud. Okay, I'm going to read this. Uh, my friends, I would recommend tweeting me, but I know quite a lot about how enchanting works. 
Uh, however, I'm always open to new ideas, so just tweet at me when I read my Twitter feed tomorrow. I will see a message and I might reply if it's like I know about it. If, if I don't, it probably means I know about it and uh, you know I'm not too interested. Like, or or I might know about it and go, oh, actually, I never thought about it like that. So I might tweet back. Anyway, uh, we also got a cheer here from Decibel three one saying, "Congrats, getting tired of Minecraft soon." Joke, love Hermitcraft. No, this game, I don't know what it is. It's uh, I like look at other games all the time, thinking about you know. Start playing other games on YouTube, and it's just like, I, why bother? If something comes along and it's like, really, oh, that's what I want to do, I'll do it. But man, I don't want to spend time looking at other games. Like, this is my favourite game. <laughs> like, why bother? Do you know what I am saying? Do you know what I am saying, peeps? Uh, Decibit Bilal says that was kind of rude. 500 cheers and not even recognise it. Hey, I just did. It just took a while. You know, like I was talking about other stuff and doing other stuff. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay. Uh, Titan Lull says, Assuma, out of 10, how's the new patch? I'll give it a solid 8. Uh, but I think it has the potential to be a bit better. It looked like a really great update. Um, nothing too game-changing. And a lot of it kind of felt like stuff that maybe should have been in 1.9. Or at least extended from what they did in 1.9. Um... And calling it the exploration update, I also feel like there's there's one new thing to really go and explore for. It could have maybe done with a few more. And I do believe that what we saw was everything. I don't think they're going to develop any more features for release unless there's like a really good suggestion. So yeah, um, it has been a terrific live stream. We're streaming through. Oh, hello, I'm false. It's a full stream now. We've been raided. Oh. It, that feels really weird. I've got to do it like this. There we go. Back to normal. Um, I've had a terrific time. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of nostalgia. We didn't really play on Hermitcraft. I know that was the plan, but, you know, it kind of makes sense today. I would say a massive thank you to all the support, though. Like, five years, it really has been one heck of a journey. And it feels like it just gets better year by year. So, uh, I'm loving doing this, and I love all of you. And thank you so much for the support. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who donated and subscribed and resubscribed and cheered this stream. And thank you to all of you in chat for hanging out and coming along and watching. And thank you to all of you who didn't even watch. And thank you for hitting the follow button as well. Like, do appreciate all of your support. Uh, this will be uploaded to the second channel. You'll probably find it tomorrow because I'm going to publish the Brothers one in a minute. And yeah, that's it from me. Um, I'm going to check and see if there's... If False is streaming, which I don't think she is because she's watching mine. I don't think anyone's going to be streaming. There's going to be basically no raid. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep, no one's streaming. No raid today. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it ever so much. Um, and yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.